Hey fans, what's up? It's GamerGuy7 Aces here, back with a special news video. All right, some information just got out from Famitsu that we're going to get some new content in Sonic Mania Plus. Now, I'm not just saying just any new content. We already knew that, but we are getting some new zones or a new zone and also new aesthetics. All right, if you look at the Famitsu magazine, they reveal that we're going to have Angel Island Zone in Sonic Mania Plus. Finally! I mean, I've been wanting to have Angel Island Zone in the game for a long time now. You guys have heard my complaints last year. I was pretty, I was pretty disappointed that Angel Island Zone was only teased and we actually didn't see it. So I'm very happy about that. I'm happy we're getting Angel Island Zone. I think that's going to be in the new DLC content with Ray the Flying Squirrel and uh, Mighty the Armadillo. That's going to be their side of the story. I'm glad their story is not going to be a repetition of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles because, you know, if we're looking at it this way, their story already happened. So Sonic Mania Plus must be after the events of Sonic Forces or it might be during the events of Sonic Forces, but that's great. And also we're going to get new aesthetics to old zones like a Green Hill Zone is going to have a sunset. So it's going to look like uh, Splash Hill Zone did in Sonic 1. And uh, what's that? Splash Hill Zone Act 3. And uh, also Mirage Saloon is going to be at night. So that's great. This kind of reminds me of Sonic Generations when you, when you play the level missions and then you see like Green Hill at night. Or, oh no, you see Green Hill at dusk or dawn. Then you see Sky Sanctuary at night, Seaside Hill at night you know, a uh, city escape in the morning. So that's great. I definitely want to see aesthetics, new level aesthetics. Matter of fact, if the only new level we get is Angel Island Zone, I'm happy, I'm satisfied because I was always a little bummed that we only had one level from Sonic 3. We had like, besides Green Hill Zone, which was the only level from Sonic 1, we had two levels from Sonic 2. You know, we had Chemical Plant, Oil Ocean. All right, and we had two levels from Sonic and Knuckles. We had Lava Reef Zone and Flying Battery Zone. And we also had two levels from Sonic CD. We had Stardust Speedway, of course, and we also have Metallic Madness. But we only have one zone from Sonic 3, Hydro, Hydro City Zone. So I'm glad now we have Angel Island Zone and Hydro City Zone. That's awesome. I don't need any more stages if they're not going to put in new stages. I just love that we're getting another Sonic 3 level and we're getting new aesthetics. This is definitely going to be a brand new experience for Sonic Mania. I'm just, I'm just loving what they're doing for this game. You know, I can't wait to play it again, get the physical copy. I might even do a live stream of it or I might even do an LP of it because it's kind of wrong that I did an LP of um, Sonic Forces. I did a long play. That's what I mean, a long play. But I didn't do a long play of Sonic Mania yet, so I'm holding that out for Sonic Mania Plus, you know, and uh, anticipate a long play of that game for Sonic's birthday. So yeah, what do you guys think about this news? Are you happy, finally happy that we're getting Angel Island Zone? Do you want more stages? Or are you satisfied or are you getting tired of rehash stages and you wanted a new stage? Let me know down in the comments below. Alright guys. And it also looks like we have a new cutscene too, but um, we're going to get new cutscenes in, in the game, so that's not my concern. It's just that Angel Island Zone new aesthetics. Alright guys, take care. Remember to smash the like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hit the bell button too. And until next time, swag out.